Good morning, good afternoon, or maybe good evening for you. Uh, today we're going to talk all about JavaScript Array Reduce. Now, Reduce is a native function of all JavaScript arrays, as well as arrays in other programming languages, which reduces the entire array, which is a list of values, to just one value. This is easier to demonstrate, so we'll get started. To code along at home, open your developer tools on any page with Control shift i on a PC or Command-Option-I on a Mac. Make sure that you're using Chrome in order to use the Chrome developer tools. So with developer tools open, let's make an array to test on. We'll say var array equals, and we're just going to make an array of a bunch of numbers. That looks good. So we see we have our array. And now if you press array dot, you see a list of all the functions that are available to native JavaScript arrays. We're interested in reduce. So reduce takes an argument, and that argument is a function with two values. And that function will be called repeatedly over the elements of the array. And a will be, let's say with this, the first time it runs, a will be equal to 1, and b will be equal to 2. It will take those as arguments a and b, combine those into one value, and the next time it will pass those to as a, and the b will be the third argument of the array, or the number 3. So let's demonstrate this in case uh, reduce is uh, getting a bit confusing. So we'll say array.reduce function a, b, return a plus b. And that returns 28. 28 is the sum of the entire array, and we've reduced it to just one number. We can also say array reduce return a times b. And this is the product of all the numbers in the array. It was easier than doing a for loop by far. However, array reduce is even more powerful than this. Now, array.reduce takes an argument, and the first argument is a function. But the second argument can be anything, and that will be passed in as a the first time if it's provided. In other words, if I provide this object literal here as the second argument for reduce, the first time it runs, a will be that empty object literal, and b will be the number 1. It will then combine those two numbers and pass whatever is returned to the next step. So we can say um, var array reduce, and we'll pass an object. So we'll say a and the key of a known as b. We're going to make that equal to um, b times b. So this is going to be a, a series of square roots. And then we have to say return a, which is our object. So the object a will be passed in each step, and we'll run this each time. And finally, it will return the object at the very end. So let's run this. And here, we've created an object where each number in our array is its square root. And the key is its number itself. That's pretty cool. So with that, that's all you need to know pretty much about Array Reduce. It's very powerful. A lot of the times it may be abstracted to say um, filter or find, low dash, open, or abstracts away reduce because it's complicated and hard to understand. But now you understand it. So you can be better prepared to either write your own reduce or choose the library that suits you best. Hope that helped, and remember to subscribe to this channel for lots more fast and awesome front-end tutorial videos.